Holyoke is known as the paper city, but like many smaller New England communities, it struggled with the loss of manufacturing jobs. One family-owned company, Hazen Paper, has maintained its competitive edge in Holyoke by creating eye-catching images for packaging that we see every day. They even have a hand in the Super Bowl. Carolee McGrath takes us there. It's kind of hidden from the highway, but 240 South Water Street in Holyoke is a popular destination for tractor trailers making deliveries and picking up product. In a city that's trying to bring in new innovative businesses, the Hazen Paper Company has stood the test of time for nearly a century. John Hazen, the president, and his cousin, Robert Hazen, executive vice president, are at the helm. The company was started in 1925 uh, by my grandfather, uh, John N. Hazen, uh, and his brother, uh, Edward Hazen. And they started out doing uh, textured embossing uh, and had their first big success with a card uh, used by Walmart cards, uh, you know, during uh, the Great Depression. Through the decades, Hazen Paper became known as a laminator of foil and film to paper. Today, they're creating custom holograms or shiny 3D images for packaging from video games to DVDs to the Titleist golf ball boxes to programs for the Super Bowl. Since around Thanksgiving, we started on our 15th year of working on the uh, Super Bowl program covers for uh, the NFL through our our customer H.O. Zimmon, which is also a, a Massachusetts-based company. And the way that this all comes together is that the NFL will give us the graphics for each year's Super Bowl program cover. And they then ask us to go to town with creating a custom hologram that complements each year's um, Super Bowl program cover. And within about a two-week time frame, roughly around January 16th, we will have uh, created a custom hologram. We will have laminated, uh, transfer metalized it to paper and sheeted it in register so that there are three specific images on an 18 by 36 inch sheet and then ship it in a heated truck to uh, Minnesota where the contracted printer, our contracted printer, will um, take the graphics of the program print those graphics to mate and register to our hologram. The programs are collector's items and were only available yeah, if you went absolutely. to the Super Bowl. Even though the Patriots lost to Philadelphia, employees at Hazen Paper were excited to be part of it. It is very exciting. And um, the fact that the, that the Patriots have donned the cover for now the sixth time since we've been involved in the project adds, a, adds another level of excitement for all of us rabid Patriots fans. Hazen Paper employs about 200 people at their Holyoke campus. When the recession hit and most companies were downsizing, Hazen invested in holographic technology, both a lab and production, and continued hiring workers. It was a risky move that paid off. In the last decade, Hazen Paper has invested $25 million in technology and hired 100 workers. This 150-year-old building in Holyoke the, you know, has renewed itself with this high technology. It's this marriage of high technology uh, with low tech uh, that really drives our business. In many ways, the Hazens say it's history repeating itself. In some ways, you know, it's deja vu. Uh, the model repeats itself and repeats itself. What we've done with holography is a modern day version of what our grandfathers did with textured embossing on paper.